Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa everybody and to my Muslims peace be unto you too it's me Harris again I just wanted to make a new video so you know that I'm alive I'm here I'm still here I mean I'm on university but you know I'm still alive uh, I'm a little sick but I think that wouldn't be a problem okay so as you know I'm on university and I I'm at a uh, new friends we uh, hang out have fun go on lessons and all that so it's good so it's good i adapt there i adapt to life in a bigger city so i don't have problem with anything as far as i know for now maybe there there will be some problems but i hope i will fix it okay so for first i want to talk about um something what happened um, in football match against uh, France against Boston and Herzegovina um, okay uh, we were playing in in qualifications for Euro championship for the country's national teams in football or how you call it soccer and uh, Boston had to win this match to go directly in the group phase and up to go in in playoff but um, referees uh, did the dirty job so uh, France get penalty and they a score so it was one and uh, we lose the place so uh, you can see in that match and there are a lot of videos that uh, referees helped the France so they can win I mean uh, we were better the whole match whole match we were better and the whole time we were really better than France and we scored for 1-0 in the first half and then in second half referee start to do the dirty job three yellow cars without any good reason and there are footages and all that I'll post the link in the description box so you can see and I mean r really it was it, it was the same uh, when we played against Spain because obviously uh, UEFA don't want small countries to to be on some big competition and maybe there's a reason that Bosnia and Herzegovina is is a major Muslim country so they're like nah nah Muslims I mean yo you know they're, they're you know I mean why it's it's sport they say it's fair play but it's not fair play it's money play for real so I mean I, I was sad and I uh, and all people from Bosnia were sad because we saw that they're not giving us chance because okay if France was better than us in in whole match okay fine but we kicked them with statistics we we scored in the first half and we were better the whole time and then they just crushed us with their decisions and then it was penalty and they score and it was even so we lose the place i mean it is it's it's really really injustice and people are losing hope in sport that is something uh, good and it's something fair because m money eventually plays the game in everything even in sport for the national teams I mean so yeah and second topic that I want to talk about is you were witnesses I was witness to about deleting channels of people who do dawa on on YouTube and uh, 
I don't know if I can pronounce their uh, YouTube names, but I'll put it in uh, in subtitles so you can see. So two channels were terminated. Why? Obviously, uh, it, it was like uh, uh, it was violation of of copyright and all that. <laughs> and I mean, how is copyright violation if, like, uh, for example, I'm now recording? And I'm recording myself, of course. And then they will deter terminate my channel. Why? Because I'm recording myself and I'm stealing somebody's copyrights. Whose copyrights? My copyrights? I mean, well, I'm owner of my copyrights. Where's the problem with that? But I think there's a problem because they're Muslims and they're sharing the truth. And some people obviously don't like the truth. And they flag their videos, they report them, all that. And then the channels are terminated. And the channel was back, thanks to Allah. And um, I j just want to say that if you're seeing the truth, there, there will always be some hardships and all that. And uh, you have, <coughs> excuse me, you have consequences saying the truth because uh, there are people who can't stand truth who can't face it so they'll attack you they'll hate you they'll try everything to to sh shut you up to s stop you and saying the truth but that's the price of truth N any people who are saying the truth got killed um, of their jobs and everything but that's the price when you're saying the truth and uh, Islam is teaching us to say truth no matter what so if you're sharing Dawah you're saying truth you're uh, you're doing good deeds and I don't see any problem in that and of course uh, for me I'll say truth no matter what on on videos or anywhere so if if I will die because of saying truth or my channel will, will be terminated or violated or I don't know because of saying truth then go with it fine but I'll make new channel and and I'll back stronger and I'll get back again and again because you can't stop me only Allah can stop me with sending death upon me and that's all and for all my people who were uh, attacked because they are saying truth or th their channels were terminated because of them saying the truth or they're attacked on Facebook and all that uh, because there are also attacks on Facebook because uh, somebody is having a d different mind or about some subjects and so if you're saying truth you're on good path if somebody is against you it's his fault not yours <coughs> excuse me so my message is say truth stay strong if they delete you make another channel make new one make new one because you will benefit from it and others will benefit from it and haters will always be there and tr trying to stop you but if if they stop you and you and then you don't do nothing about it then they succeed in their plan but if you rise again stronger then they are not succeeding and probably they'll retreat and they'll maybe become your fans so stay cool say truth no matter what uh, practice pray do good deeds may Allah all protect us from evil people and evil deeds take care respect others Peace on the streets, peace on the Middle East, that's all. See you.